So it's going to be a couple more minutes. And we will get going. I'm just setting up a couple things. Thanks for joining me. Can't see the chat just yet. Oh, I see Mitzi. I do see the chat. I need to turn my computer volume off. There we go. We are going to stop at top. Start at top of the hour. <laughs> I'm just getting my stuff situated as usual. Um, let's see here. I have a thumbnail to put in here though. Let's see. For those of you that are joining us on a rewatch, thank you for joining us. Um, you can watch the comments or you can just make your own comments. Point is, if you see something you like during the live, people will be making comments, but you can also make comments. And if we see them, it will be under the comment section for the video, not the live chat. We will do our best to get it for you if it's available. So just know you can do that. And we will start this in about eight minutes so if you need to fast forward through all this if you're watching later <laughs> that's what you could do and those of you that are joining me right now thank you thank you thank you it is a beautiful day here the sun is out but it hailed earlier we had a nice hailstorm it made everything white and now it's all melted welcome to spring let's see here just putting my new thumbnail up and then I will be more present with our chat. Okay, we now have a thumbnail. So how many people have checked out the new website? It is not perfect. It still has a long list of things to fix, but it is operational. You can do main things that you need to do, but um, I like it. I'm hoping you guys will like it too. Um, let's see what's going on here. I'll be right back. My husband's coming in the area and he's on a phone call, so I had to tell him that we were live. <laughs> he needed to not be on his phone call. He's going to come join us. We will have Marlon in the house. It's always fun when he is here. Um, I guess it doesn't like the thumbnail. I'm not seeing an update. Oh, well, it will eventually get there. Okay. I'm trying to get back in. Here we are. All right. I see Mitzi, Liana, Pat, Terry, Starla. Hi, guys. Thanks for joining me. Marlon's now here. No, I'm not. He's not, he says. We can't prove it. <laughs> Thank you, Liana. Thank you for sharing that post. Okay. Uh, please give me a thumbs up. Help me out. Hi, Pat. It's a double Pat day. I got both of you on here today. Oh, that's what this is on. I know. I know. So, Mr. Fix is complaining. <laughs> I, I can't believe you just threw me under the bus. <laughs> it is quite chilly with the wind, but the sun is out and it is clear. 
well, there's some high clouds, but the point is the sun is out where earlier it wasn't. And it lights this area up so much better, but I do have some additional lighting in here. So I want to have the garage door open unless it's too noisy or too cold. And he's actually sitting right next to a radiant heater. So that's why I was telling him, you know, I'm freezing. He, he's got a heater. <laughs> it's 23 degrees out. They're waiting the for you to log blowing. in. They're waiting for you to log in. Come on, I'm working mister. On he's working on it. It's not I'm 23 slow. degrees. It might be 32, 34. <laughs> Uh, I know, Leanna, I saw your, yeah. They're waiting for you. Hey, I'm working on it. Do you know what I'm doing right now? <laughs> no. I'm going to softsquares.com and I'm jumping on the link that says live sale. Okay, that's good. Okay, so and now are, I'm with... jumping on the live. Awesome. And now I've got my audio on. So we have got some links on the new website that will direct you right here. So you can go into Facebook. I mean, you can do that too, but you can go to southscores.com and it, one of the buttons at the very beginning will say live sales. And if we're live, it will direct you and you'll see that we're live. If not, it'll just, you get to see the page where all the live videos are. But, oh, hey, 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 there he is. Mr. Fix is in the room. Okay. I cannot see the chat and see the screen, but I can at least see the chat. Um, do I need to post on Facebook? So, Liana, there. Would you check for me if you if you can, or somebody check my Facebook group, the Facebook uh, Soft Squares Quilting with Lynn group. I have a repeating event that happens in there. And it just redirects you just like the website does where it takes you to where this will be live. So I hope that that event is visible. I guess if it's not, we'll find out. But it doesn't hurt to post it. Hi, Linda. We need to talk. <laughs> we need to get together. Last week was crazy. Okay, here he comes. Pat, I am not hiding. <laughs> He is not hiding. Uh, and I'm going to sit down for part of this. Uh, you don't have to shop on Facebook. Um, but the post on Facebook is just a group. And you can post your projects. And then you can um, see what's going on there. But yeah, the I, I don't have it set up for market, market on Facebook. But... Anyway, maybe someday I will, but it's not even an option. So it's just a community page. But you should be able to get to this from that. So I would like to know if anybody got here from any link other than going into YouTube itself. Because I'm curious to know if any of those links are being used. Okay, you say you can't see. Uh, yeah, yeah, I can see the chat down here, but it cuts the top off. And I, unless you can get rid of the top stuff. Let's try and hide this. Okay. Um, He's fixing stuff. This is why he gets his name. <laughs> oh. Taskbar behaviors. Taskbar. Automatically hide. Now. Well, oh, that's interesting. What time is it? I can't see the clock anymore now. Oh, stop your whining. I can't see the clock. I got this one. <laughs> this little clock. <laughs> I don't remember where I found him. I don't either. Office Depot or something like that. And she paid seventeen dollars. No, it. I didn't. But it was more than a couple dollars. So, and all I needed is something out here, and I had a choice of this or something that was really silly. Believe it or not, more silly than this. So I just tucked the bottom on top. But you know what? This is showing Pacific time. I have not updated it since. Uh, Daylight savings. So, yep. and it says, oh, the date is 325. It gives me the date. Okay. Oh, boy. I can't tell you what time it is. This is not even telling me. I can tell you that it is 459 because I have this little device <sighs> oh, that works. This says 57. So, this is not even the right time. So, I'll give this to you to change the time to correct at some point. Thank you. Oh, he put in the garbage. That's not garbage, by the way. Oh, it is garbage now. <laughs> I would like something better, that's for sure. 
Um, all right. So all right. So um, the same rules as before. You have to be a sub visible, not visible. You have to be a subscriber for 20 minutes before it will allow you to comment. So those of you that are new or maybe trying to make a comment, just make sure you're subscribed. So it's just one of the settings we have in place to try to keep the spammers out. And um, and just keep in mind, it does go a little taller. Linda, did you see my email? Linda, did you send it to me today? Obviously, Linda, she hasn't seen your email yet. Well, I just checked my email. I don't recall seeing anything new, but if it's an older one, I'm holding on to it because last week was just crazy busy, and I'm so sorry. So don't move your cursor. <laughs> just set it and forget it. <laughs> Pretend that Ron Peel uh... is in the house, and this is a Ronco thing. Set it and forget it. Okay. Okay? You guys remember Ron the Ronco's commercials? All Hopefully. right. He did say I was whining, Pat. Mm -hmm. No, I didn't. That's because he was whining earlier, so I guess that he could no. say that to me for a minute. But No, I didn't. I didn't whine. <laughs> Yay, Terry. Good to know you came through Facebook. Um, okay. Deanna, thanks for joining us. And yes. I'm so sorry I screwed up on your order. It's coming. <laughs> your stuff is coming. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Mail. USPS. Change oh. your chat through live chat, not top. Oh, I think we are. Oh, what no, we're doing? not. We are top chat. Live chat. Okay. Oh, okay. I don't oh. know what the, what's the difference? The top chat is only what they think you want to see. Oh, live I don't... chat is what you want to see. Well, that's not what I want. This is good. Thank well, you. I, I thought I was always in that. I clearly this didn't This is look. where people like Mark Zuckerberg and the rest think they know what you want. I know. And they don't. <laughs> okay, so Linda, not email, USPS fabric samples mailed Friday. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm glad you're mailing those to me. That'll be the easiest way to do that. You see what I did there, Linda? I'm so used to seeing email that I don't even remember that there is actual mail out there. <laughs> And Starla, your, I have all your bolts of fabric now, so um, we'll figure out what you need. If anyone needs to order a bolt, let me know. Okay, um, I know somehow it's all scooted this way, which doesn't seem very good. Yeah. I got a little, dizzy. Got a little better. Okay. Okay, so we are going to start. Liana is in Puerto Rico. Thank you for joining us. We're so glad that you could make it. Um, you don't, have, don't mess with that. But you have this. You're going to make the phone drop again. Okay, but look. I'm playing it out. Playing what out? This. What about it? It's there for you. They're boxes. No, it's not. Oh, there's a chair. <laughs> she was pointing at a chair, but it not. looked like she was pointing at boxes. <coughs> Honestly. Excuse really. me. Mr. Fix it. And he does, I'm on a bar stool, and he does not like stools. So. <laughs> It used to be shorter, but we're no, no, but no. we're sitting at a counter, and I you can make it fall like no, you did I'm last not. week. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. And the not. week before, no. and the week before that. <sighs> oh. Hello, Charlotte. Welcome, everyone. We had a discussion today. If all the post offices close, what towns will we live in? Boy, so that I... we can be together. <laughs> is that what... I don't know. I don't if know. the post office closed, does that mean that I don't get bills? They cut by email now. Oh, okay. I know. I'm sorry. All okay. right. So, okay. I'm going to start off with a couple of the deals today. So, um, same rules. Like a game. Um, if you want something, I'm going to show you the number. If there's extra, if there's more than one, I'll tell you the quantity. You just put that number in the chat. If you want more than one and it's available, put the number times whatever you want of it. So, if you want two of number one, type one times two. We do have yardage today, and I'm going to start off with that. The yardage is a minimum of one yard cut. I do have some strange cuts where if you want, we'll talk about it when we get to that, but you might end up with like a half yard or one and a half yards just because that's all that there is of that piece. So um, is one and a half particularly strange as opposed to one and 17 30 seconds? <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's the same. It's just you have to say more. Okay. To get to what you did. Yeah. 
This is the nerd I live with. Love it. <laughs> He's a nerd. He is. Okay. Um, if you have not purchased anything from us before, you're going to want to send an email to this address right here, which is Mr. Fixit at softsquares.com, which is this guy right here. We need to know your username on YouTube, YouTube so we can identify who you are and your real name. And then when you send that through, we'll obviously get your email at that time. But we're going to put the orders together. And tomorrow, the goal is to get these out by noon somewhere, whatever time noon is. Yeah, it's You're, noon o'clock somewhere. Noon o'clock somewhere. <laughs> Meaning we're going to do our best to get out in the morning, but we can't tell you exactly what time that will be. And it might even be early afternoon. So we're going to get those out as soon as we can. There's but a, there's we'll a, know where to send your invoice. As we get into it a little bit, you'll realize there's a reason that you want to know when your orders are posted so you can purchase them. Because I have a deal. I have well, I have a I have a deal today, but I also bonus. have some freebies, some bonus yeah. stuff. So, um, the last couple of weeks I've been sending things out with with orders. I am limited on this one, so it's just the first eight people that pay their order will get one of these. It is a three by three magnet, and it's really lightweight, but it is a pretty good magnet. This retails for six dollars, and I have eight of these. So the first eight orders that are paid will get one of these in with it. And the other orders, I'll throw something in there, but I can't tell you what it will be. It might be a sticker or something, but I'll still give you something. I just, you're going to get this if you're one of the first eight people that pay your order. That was the easiest way that we could do to, to actually track that. Okay. Hi, Charlotte. I don't think I said hi to you yet, even though I saw you hanging out in the chat. Okay. So the other thing you should know is that the last three or four or five weeks, we've only had six or seven people order and therefore by definition you know what what i'm worried about is like if i posted at seven o'clock in the morning here that's six o'clock for starla maybe starla's not you, up at you, six you can't worry about that oh but i do unfortunately i know you do i shouldn't but i do i know it's just the way it is anyway all right you guys something on your head here it's gone it's called hair no it was a it's gone <laughs> We're on live and you're like, you know, grooming me. Mm -hmm. it was, it, it's gone. It was just there. All right. Let's get this party going. All right. So um, the first thing I have is we're going to do some yardage. Now I have overworked my shoulder and have to start being really, really careful. So Marlon might be the one who stands up and shows this because I'm back to limited mobility or just a little bit. So this is item number one. It is by the yard. It is from a line called Copacetic. Copacetic. And there's like a eight or nine different pieces that go with it. You're covering the microphone. <laughs> there we go. No, you're good. So just, just bring it back a little bit. This is to... Okay. Anyway, this is this is the first piece. It makes me think of like the 70s flower power, like 60s. 60s. That's Some right. Some of us are old enough to remember that. She okay, isn't. Put it down. So this is thank you. Hold it up. That's item number one. And I have that doesn't look right. One and a half yards of that. So if somebody wants that full piece, you can either have a yard for nine dollars a yard, or you can have the whole thing for thirteen fifty, which is the same as nine dollars a yard. You're just getting one and a half yards. And so you can pick if you like it, the whole piece. Or just one yard, and then it's okay. It just the got a scolded. squares in. are about two inches. Oh, um, what? I can measure, measure here. them. We have two measuring things so, right here in front of us. Leanna, I'm guessing two inches, and now I'm going to measure it. We're going to show it next to some, some of the other fabrics in just a minute so you can see how it all looks. And it measures out at one and a half, not two inches. Okay. So I was wrong. You were close. Close. But one and a half okay. inch squares for the flowers and then this is actually part of the same line this is number two this one we have one yard of it kind of a salmon color circles makes me think of wonder bread <laughs> the red bread is red and white and yellow yeah the, the <laughs> it's blue just red and yellow circles, circles on wonder bread so we're going to nice. actually keep all these together so yeah. if you want to put them over that's fine but we're going to keep together oh, yeah. okay Okay, number three, I have six yards of this. So you can have between one and six yards 
um, just put in the description how many you want. But this is kind of an orangey. I want to call it like a tangerine um, orange. And we will show all the pieces again and together. So I think it might make a little more sense when you see more pieces of it. But there's six yards of that one. In those six yards. Hi, Donna Robbins. <laughs> I, I should say that in those six yards, one of them is a five yard cut. Hi, Rhonda. And there's also a one yard cut. So if you need six yards continuous, you wouldn't be able to get that. You can get a five yard cut and a one yard cut. Yeah. Yeah, there, so whatever you want, but um, yeah. So here's here's number four. This I, I'm calling it kind of hash tag marks, hash marks. This is all the same line. It's called Copacetic. It is a Riley Blake design by Julia Fraser of Bay Hill Studio. It just came out this year. It's a brand new release, and this is kind of salmon in color. So I bet it looks yeah. like the circles. But I have five yards of this, so it's nine dollars a yard. So, uh, Donna, I don't know if you caught this, but the way it works is if you see something you like, you put the number in the chat. And if you want more than one, you're going to have to put times, whatever that is. So the yardage is uh, by the yard, $9 a yard. Also, okay. Donna, I'm not sure if you got here in time to know, but you have to be subscribed for 20 minutes before you can put it in the chat. Well, she's here already. She's chatting. Never mind. <laughs> so anyone that's watching this that's not subscribed, if you can't subscribe that's, or chat, that's fine. You have to wait 20 minutes. Anyway, so you have to send an email to mrfixit at softscores.com. That's my husband. He takes care of the financial billing stuff and just send your username and your real name with your email. We will send an invoice to you tomorrow when everything is all wrapped up. So here's number five. What's the size Paige Katrina is asking? For which one? For which one, Leanna? This is this is a half a yard, by the way, so four fifty for just this piece. The uh the hash marks was five yards. See it kind of you can see it covered it again. No, it's not good. I would rather see less. There. Nope. Okay. I told you it was right. <laughs> All of this is from the same fabric line. Yeah, one through seven. All of these are um, the same fabric line. So we're going to show them together because they do seem a bit, a bit interesting to be that. But anyway, this is a half a yard, so $4.50. <laughs> Girl Scouts, yes. Definitely. The Everything about it. By the way, Girl Scout cookies. I, I got hit up by um, the Girl Scouts at the grocery store the other day. So they're out. Okay, so we the next one is number six. I have four yards of this. Now what? If our Girl Scouts are out, your their Girl, Girl Scouts, Scouts are out. Might still have some. <laughs> we didn't take all that they had. Well, that's what you just sounded like. <laughs> oh, they're not out of cookies. Oh, see, that's what I this heard. This is what I live with. I have to be. He knows what I mean, and you do too. Okay, six. Hi, Angie. Thanks for joining. Did you come in through Facebook, my website, or YouTube? You guys tell me how you came in, because we're curious, because all three of those should have a way to get you here. I'm just curious if you're coming in other than through Facebook or YouTube directly. All right, number six. This one has four yards, so if you want any of these one times, or sorry, four, this is six, six times however many yards you want, up to four. Okay, and then we're going to about, to, we have one more, and then we're going to show you all of them together. And this is number seven. This one has three uh, cut pieces in here. So I've got two one yard cuts and one five yard cut. So um, you can get up to seven yards. They just won't be continuous. But unless you get four. Unless you get four. Let's because that will be continuous. Well, that's not what I was saying though. I know, I'm just being me. Yeah. Okay, let's show all of them. Let's, let, I want you guys to see all of them next to each other because they kind of make sense together. And I think that, okay, yeah. You're going to have to do that. I know. I'm working on it. My my shoulder, I tweaked it trying to get into a cupboard. And I got my arm in a funny position. I had some weight on it. And I can move it today. But physical therapist said, give it a rest. And it's, it does. It's sore. Six. I only said, oh, there's seven. I. Okay. Okay. Good luck. 
I know. Good I luck. can I can hold well, I some. Watch this. He's got it. I am gonna hold it up like this, and then you can flip through them. All right, so they're not in number order how they're sitting here, but this one is number four, and it's the same color as this one, which the number is gone. Oh no, it's not. It's hiding. Here it is. Here's your number. Okay. okay. We, need to hurry. <laughs> we have this tangerine or uh, gingham, and then here's our flowers. And so you can see that these pinky, orangey ones, these three, this one, the this one, this one, and this one would be really cute. I go together without any. Anyway, okay, <laughs> it's different. Okay, so go ahead and put that down again. It's called Copacetic. It's brand new. It's from Riley Blake, and it'd be interesting to see. That's actually pretty heavy. Well, it's twenty-five yards, yeah. and a yard weighs how much? I don't know. I'm going to say it weighs five pounds. Hey, 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 hey. We can find out right now. We have a digital scale. And for curiosity, just fold them in half. Well, I, I'm getting there. But I'm going to say each yard weighs five pounds and there's 25 of those. <laughs> so that's 100. You didn't like seeing the scale come out because no, you can't do that all at once. Because now you're challenging me on how much it weighs. You cannot do it all at once. Watch. Okay. Oh, oh, sorry, I lifted up. I have to turn the scale on before you put it oh, up. Oh, my goodness. Don't touch it. Don't touch I'm it. I'm not touching. Just tell you. Okay, now reset. All right, we have five and a half pounds. No. Read the little letters. Kilograms. Oh, that's not right. Twelve pounds. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so okay, it's, it's 12 pounds. So and it's not the 125 up. pounds I thought it was, but I'm old. Twelve pounds. Awkward. I'm gonna stick. He it. has long COVID, so you know he can get away with. It. He has an excuse for everything, and it's true. It's just sad. Okay. All right. So that's it for that. I have for our our uh, yards for today. We just did that one collection because there's so many different pieces in it. So there's that. Okay. So now we're gonna go into fat quarter bundles. I have one of these. This is. Number eight, it is called Bluebird of Happiness. And we're going to look at all the different pieces in here. There are eight pieces. So the set together is $24. And it's kind of a taupey, taupey brown, but more taupe with this really pretty... I want to call the slate blue. Just pretty. All the colors are there for sure. $24. Number eight. There's only one of these. And there's eight pieces. Hi, Nathan. There's the last one. I believe that this particular fat bundle quarter is brought to you by the number eight. <laughs> because it is number eight. And there are eight pieces. We could be like Sesame Street and try to have a theme with each. Anyway. I don't know anything about Sesame Street. I just made that up. <laughs> really? Okay. Um, okay, the next two things I'm going to show you are actually my deal of the day. So these are fat quarter bundles. They are limited, but these are only uh, $12 each. I have two of these. This one is number nine. It's called Harmony by Michael Moon. And this one is called Cuties on the Farm. Also two of these, and that one's by Joy, Josh Ray, and there's five pieces in each one of them. I only have two of each. So these are the deal today, the they're just $12. So here we go with their colors. I love, um, I love these together. Number nine. And then this one's a cute little kid's print. So we've got farm stuff. What? What happened? Uh, Pastry Queen wants to see the cuties. You want to see the cuties? I think she wants to see if there's any chickens in there. Cuties on the farm. Okay, I'll open this up. Yeah. Might have to go talk to them. Okie dokie, we're opening this up. So you should do this like a romper room. I see pigs. 
I see cows. I see chickens. Donkeys. I see horses. Maybe it's or horse. donkeys. Or horses. I see schoolhouses. Or oh, barns. there's some chickens right there. Yep. <laughs> Rihanna oh. wants 10. Okay, there's two tens. There's two of each. And so. So Terry gets a number nine. Okay. And. Do you guys need me to open this one up? This is probably a little easier to Terry see didn't. what they are. Yeah, Terry got number nine. Right. But she she already claimed it. I know, but she still might want to see what's in it. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> you see that? That was on camera <laughs> domestic abuse. Oh. Okay. Oh, 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 Leanna, you gotta see. There's there's this is more of a, a country scene and there's stuff on here. Hi Joyce or Janice. <laughs> okay all right so we have two of each of those and i believe both tens are gone let's see one nine me. is gone you Mitzi. saw nothing <laughs> i didn't either of course you didn't see it you're the perpetrator i could have seen it oh, yeah, could have yeah. it. <sighs> okay i'm at the <sighs> hi marla oh yeah sorry i'm reading Terry wants two. You want both. Terry wants both nines. Oh, yeah. Okay, so unless Starla says differently, Terry, you're getting both. Okay. Um, now we have layer cakes. I, I don't have a lot of them today, but this is number th 11. I have three of them. This is Spring Gardens. It is a new release. It is by my mind's eye. It's, it is $42. It's 42 pieces and here are all of your patterns i have a lot of ring lights here today so i'm sorry about the glare hopefully the lighting is a little better we also have the door open okay three of these in addition to that i have three of these these are charm packs these are eleven dollars it's the same line so number 11 and number 12 are the same line um, and the, the photos are the same yeah yeah the same line well but it's also the exact same items in the same line because it could be the same line but they'd have different pieces they don't do that with this but maybe i didn't know that no okay we got to get him a little more up to speed on how how all things quilting work he's doing pretty good some days <laughs> okay so anyway we have this we have uh again three of each of those 11 and 12 are the spring garden pre-cuts and you may want to just put those back in here okay number 13 is anne of green gables 11 dollars. i have three of these Here's the line. Hopefully you can see that. That's so pretty. Okay. Number 14 is... Say that word for me. That word for me. She told me to say that word for me, so I said <laughs> that word for me. Will you please I think read she that? wanted me to pronounce to say crustaceans. Cre no, Cretaceous. Cretaceous. Cretaceous period of dinosaurs about three billion years ago. Um, this is a really cute child print. It has all of this in there, and they're dinosaurs. Hi, Tessa. All right, so 14 is that one. Three, and you have three of them. I have three of each of these, just so you know. This one's called Let's Create number 15. Again, three of these. And who's it by? This is by Echo Path Paper Company. I guess I could Echo see. Park. Echo Park Paper Company. That really bothered him when he was typing this. It's a paper this company. And Doing they fabric. are selling fabric. Yeah, because they're expanding. Then they should change the name of their company. No, that's a hassle. And they probably still do paper. But 
but they don't mm -hmm. say they're doing fabric. Do they need to say every little thing that they do? Well, no, but when it says paper company, <laughs> that's like... He's bothered by that. I am. I am really bothered by that. <laughs> okay, number 16 is called Petal Song. And I think we figured out her name is Corey Chef. Yeah. Carrie Corey Chef. Corey. So there's her name. Really tidy right there. It's really hard to read because of the font. But this is really pretty. It's kind of a romantic looking line. There's everything in it. I have three of these. Number 16. All right. We'll move on. Now I have Journal by Jay Wicker Frisch. This is called Journal Basics. Again, uh, $11. It is a charm pack. I have three of them. Number 17. And these are what's in there. So just think of journal entries and things that would make sense that you would see there. Kind of interesting for fabric. Now we have Blossom Lane by Catherine Linus. Linus. Number 18. Three of these. $11. And here's what's in there. 42 pieces. Yeah, Leanna, you keep reminding me. I have a free pattern on my website. <laughs> Although today it's not working. I haven't got the digital up pattern on there yet. So, but there is a free pattern and it actually has a, uh, it's on the site. It just doesn't let you do anything because we're still working out the bugs, like installing the, or putting the digital file on there. But yeah, I have a, a free pattern called Hopscotch that works with charm packs. It is great. And that's it for the pre-cuts. Oh, I lied. We have a jelly roll. Number 19. Number 19 is called Day in the Life. It is by Echo Park, which is the paper company. Yeah, there we go. I know. Well, but the, the I, label was I, up, I, but you I'm could kind of see it. You were sorry. teasing. I'm sorry, not everybody. To, you know, get over the top. Kind of like a toilet paper roll. A toilet paper roll? Go over the top. Which, by the way... It's a beard, not a mullet. How many charm packs does it take to do your quilt? One. No, two. Two is ideal. Okay. Two of the same length. You could make it smaller by just doing one. But, um, yeah. Okay, so this is... I don't have anything that shows us what this line looks like. I'm sorry, because it does not open. But you can see the colors are so pretty. Okay, now we are moving on to patterns. $5 patterns. Woo -hoo -hoo. So remember, if you spend $20 or more, um, first eight people will be getting one of these three-inch three by three uh, magnets of a hi Debbie is Debbie that, Dobbins is in the room it's not a flying geese um I don't, I don't know the name of this pattern can anybody tell me they are flying geese but there's a name for this block does anyone know the name of the block I think it's called a flock of flying geese <laughs> <A flock. laughs> my feet the block is a flock the block is a flock of flying geese I think. You know, it almost sounds like you're swearing. <laughs> I was very, very careful. Oh my goodness. Okay, onto the patterns, guys. The first one I have is number 20. There's a table runner. It's by Fig Tree and Company. Dutchman's it's Puzzle. Dutchman's Puzzle. Okay. I don't know. You got a question mark on there, Starla, but I think you're more right than anyone who doesn't put say anything. Hi, <laughs> Annette. <laughs> Okay, so this takes two charm packs. Speaking of, you need two charm packs to put this one together and a little bit of yardage to make the stems and the backing. It takes one and three quarters for the cream backing. This is a good size table runners, 24 by 64. Dang, that's like a big banquet. Okay, so there's that one. Now we have Catalina Stars, number 21. These are all $5. Broken dishes. Oh, Maybe, Linda. Maybe. Okay. New angle on fats is 22. 
This one takes 12 fat quarters, takes a bunch of background, but they've got a couple of different ways that they put it together. Let's see if I can see it up here with that. Rhonda gets 21. Presto Avenue Designs. This is called Autumnal. Uh, that's a tongue twister. What's it? Autumn, Autumn Autumnal. Equiblox. E oh, Equiblox. I was going to say Equinox. Equiblox. <laughs> this takes uh, yardage and 12 fat eighths of various fall colors. Five dollars, so, number 23. Can I ask something? Mm -hmm. Are fat eights the same as thin quarters? No? Okay. <laughs> but they're half of a fat quarter. Well, that's what I, you know, if that's but, a fat uh, quarter, then that's a thin uh -huh. eighth. Uh -huh. I think. <laughs> That block will drive you crazy. <laughs> Debbie, are you talking about this one? The magnet? Speaking of, Debbie, have you worked on your quilt? The one that we were doing together that had lots of flying keys in it? <laughs> I'm did, feeling... Did you have more than one? No, only one. one. But one of each of these. So, sorry, Charlotte. That one's taken. Leanna, 21's taken. Yeah. Okay. So, number 24 is this one. By Fig Train Company, it's called Sewing Patchwork. Takes yardage. Look how cute that is, though. Am I off screen? Sorry, guys. Twenty-four goes to Terry. Okay, twenty-five is row, row, row your boat. Half square triangles. Wait, wait a minute. Let me see the front of that. Can I ask a question? Yes. The title or the, the name of it is Row, Row, Row Your Boat, but they're sailboats. Look at it. Look at it. Okay. <laughs> this is because you are very, very specific. You know what well, it what, means. Why would you row a sailboat? Maybe your sails are, these are holes that are in it. Maybe the white on the sails are holes and they don't actually make the sailboat go anywhere. That would be a reason he's to a row little, your sailboat. He's, he, he goes on these little, yeah. <laughs> 21 is taken. It's not. Each, it's, each row has boats. Yes, that makes sense. And actually, I totally, I should have defended that. That's exactly what it is. It's a row because you build them in rows. It's a row by row. Is it actually a type wow. of pattern? Wow. I didn't make that up. Okay, trailer build number 26. Look how cute this is. It's camping. It's the woods. It has trailers. This one is, seriously, I think it needs stitches. What? Seriously, it needs stitches? Yeah, that's, I think it needs stitches is the name of the designer. Big designer, okay. Yeah. Okay, $5. Five dollars. Uh, Liberty Duet is number 27. Keep in mind, we've got Independence Day coming up. You can also use this for Quilts of Valor. Speaking of which, um, I'm going to talk about this. I set on my Saturday situation, and Pat Vizino is in the room, so she can pipe in a little bit. She's who we are doing the Quilts of Valor blocks for, and this is the block that we are making and sending to her. And the information, the link to get the pattern and the address where to send it to is all on my Saturday situation and video for last saturday but it's really easy it's just simple squares and half square triangles and it needs to be in patriotic colors it does not need to be these two colors although maybe pat can clarify on that what she wants so we are helping her with her quilts of valor because they're a small chapter and they're looking for donations as well as we're going to send her a bunch of blocks to help them make their quilts faster So All right. Question. Did you see what Debbie said about mm. her quilt? Oh, I Where? missed it, Debbie. Sorry. Oh, you'll be bringing it to the retreat unless you work on it. 
Now she'll have something to work on at the retreat. Oh my gosh, I have not been doing a lot of quilting this last year, as you know, and I have a lot of little projects to finish, but I'm not starting anything big, so I actually might have some time to help you on that if you show up with it, Debbie. So that's the quilt that we have on our bed. Wait a minute. Yeah. Well, are you telling not the me... exact quilt that's hers, but she's in the same yeah. pattern. So, so Debbie, are you telling me that you haven't finished that quilt? And I've been sleeping with that quilt for several months Almost now? Almost a year. Wow. I know. Was it a year? When did we have the last retreat, yes, Debbie? It was it in the year. fall or was it in the spring? Anyway, it was the spring. Was the spring. <laughs> okay, so this one is number 28 called Absolutely Positively Quilt Designs. The pattern itself is called Change It Up. Um, they've got some colors on here that would make it me think of about Christmas, but you could do anything you want with it. But look how they've got the block and on the back it shows you that's how that comes together. Change it up. Number 28. $5. No quilting sheriff here. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Dusky Mountains, number 29. This is by Phoebe Moon Creates. She is a pattern designer I've recently discovered, and I have a lot of her patterns on my website. Um, check her out. They're a little on the modern side. They're just cool. And this is uh, one of the patterns she has. Again, I only have one of what I'm showing you today, though. Marjorie says it's a Dutch block. Dutch block. This one. This one's a Dutch block. Okay. Hi, Margie. I don't think I said hi to you. So, Margie, is it like people where they have middle names? Or is it just Dutch block, like first and last name? Explain. I'm just asking. <laughs> I have, I'm curious. <laughs> On to the next one. This is called Delight by A Quilting Life, which is Sherry McConnell, number 30. This one takes one fat eighth bundle, which is at least 30 fat eighths. You need two yards for background. And the size of this is 53 by 62. I think mean, it's really pretty. Just Dutch. Just Dutch. Okay, um, number... I could keep going on that, but I'm not going to. Number 31 is called Roar. Now, this is only one pattern, one quilt. This is the back to it. So you're going to actually get these little bear paws to go on the back. And look how cute that is. It takes a half yard of cream, uh, fat quarters, or a quarter of a yard. It takes yardage, basically. What's the size of this? 54 by 54. I think that's cute to have that on the back. Number 31. I skipped number 32. I don't know why. There's no 32. Number 33 <laughs> is this one. It's by um, Sandy Gervais. Yeah. It is called Loveliness. It is fat quarter friendly. And she's using fall colors here, but you can use anything. And that would be so pretty, especially with solids. I like she's solids. That's a question. Do you have my happy place layer cakes? My happy place. I don't think so. Write a note. <laughs> I can read you that. You know what, Pat? <laughs> she, just, she just wrote a note that I can read too, which is why she should write notes and I shouldn't write notes. <sighs> okay, 33. All right, so number 34 is also by Sandy Gervais. This is called... Um, well said. Now in here, they're using a pattern or a, a panel that has blocks that have, has words in it. You could put any panel in there. I think that would be really cute with any type of panel, but there's called well said because it's, it goes with a fabric line that was a motor line. Anyway, very, uh, Debbie, this makes me think of the quilts that we were making because we used a panel. So if you had any more of those, there's another idea. Number 35 is Hope Valley. This is Sherry McConnell, Quilting Life. Um, just quickly answering Starla, 
loveliness is 72 by 72. Oh, yeah, thanks. 34 is gone. Charlotte took it. Okay. Hope Valley is 65 square. 65 is 65. Here's a more close-up of the whole thing. The tic-tac-toe board is what that makes me think of. Starla wants 33. Does... Starla, when you decide if it's available, you should tell Starla that she can have 33. Be sure to post it so she sees it. <laughs> okay, number 36 is Desert Sky, also by Sherry McConnell. This one has two sizes. There's, well, actually not two sizes. It has two ways to make it, one with fat quarters and one two-tone. And so here's the two-tone way. And she gives you different instructions for each of those. This one is 57 by 69 for the jewel version, which is this one. But the two-tone one is 64 by 64. So this one, uh, I'm guessing the jewel tone is more rectangle. But look how fun that is. Just cute. And I have one more pattern. Star Cross, number 37. This is also... No, it's not. This is by Sherry's daughter, Chelsea Stratton. This one takes 18 fat quarters and yardage. The quilt itself is 80 by 80. That could almost wrap around my belly. <laughs> I have a nephew who's, I could you not, six foot seven. And I have no idea how much he weighs, but he's very, very large. Think of Hagrid with Harry Potter. Yeah. And he actually did that as a costume one year. He's just a very big guy, but he's a teddy bear. He's he's like in his mid twenties, and he's my nephew. So I made him a quilt, but I had to supersize it because he wanted to be able to just wrap up and cuddle in it. So it's a gigantic throw quilt to fit him. Oh, 37. There's only one of them. All right, let's see what else we have on here. Okay, we have um oh, totally forgot. I'm doing something different today. For those of you who have quilting and embroidery machines, I have some patterns for you. These are $10 a piece. This is by Anita Good Design. This is their um, Express collection. And inside it has a book and it has a CD and it has all these projects in there. This one is called Stuffed Halloween Decor. It has 10 little mini projects. These retail for $29.99. It's just ten dollars. I have one of these, number thirty-eight. And they would need an embroidery machine, right? Yeah, you need an embroidery machine, so it works on all embroidery machines. The hoop size five by seven or larger. Okay, and then here's just a picture of the things that come out of there. It'd be great for Thanksgiving. <laughs> With the skeletons. <laughs> you mean Halloween? No, by the time I get it done, it'll be Thanksgiving. <laughs> okay, number 39 is um, another Anita Good Design Express. This one is Easter Egg Pockets. This one, you can put stuff in it. I have three of these, by the way. And this takes a 5 by 7 hoop or larger. It has 11 designs, and here's what the designs are. So it makes those little eggs that pop open or hold things. Let's see. Order it tonight. Should we put it in overnight mail so they can make it by Easter? Yes, we'll make sure you get it right away if you order this one because Easter is Sunday. Number 40 is, is the last of the embroidery ones. This is called Mini Star Wreath. It is, what have we got, 12 designs. Same thing, 5x7. So how much is that? These are all $10 for the embroidery ones. They're normally $29.99. So these are the patterns that are the stars that you get out of that one. So I have four different, three different ones. And one of them has, I have three of the Easter. So there you go. One of the other two. So far, does anybody have anything that they need me to show again before I move on? What number is the Easter egg? The Easter egg one is number 39. 39. And I have three of them. I'll show you it again. Here's what the eggs look like. But here's actually we'll look at it this way because you can see how they it has a little pocket and just up close. 
Okay, so this one is missing its number. I grabbed one that didn't have 39. a number. 39. Okay, I need to always have a number. 39, 40, and 38. There we go. So we For have. Holidays. Yep, these are all holidays. So we have Halloween, Easter, and Independence Day. $10 each. Looks like Pat got a couple of them. And number 39, I have three of them, so there's still a couple left. Looks like Pat and Starla grabbed them, but there's still one more of those. Okay. Um, put these aside. Now, oh, I'm done with this. I can put these over here. Now I have some fabric bundles for you guys. Um, these where, are collections. Where are they, where are they, hiding? they are actually oh, right behind the computer. So you can just bring the whole basket over. Please. Yep. I had it here until I remembered I had to set the computer up. <laughs> All right. I'm excited. Okay, so this one is called, uh, this one is number 41. It's called Day in, oh, sorry, A Country Weekend. <laughs> It has this really pretty line, which we'll look more closely at. Okay, it has one charm pack. I got a question for Max. Did you show sure. the... Sure. I did not, but I can't. We'll get to them, Magda. So I know you want the floral one, but I still have those other two. And I thought about showing them. I have them, actually. Go through these. We'll, get them. we'll go through. Okay, so this is, a, this is a big collection, okay, of all this stuff. That's what number 41 is. 41 is $84. You're going to get a charm pack. You're going to get... I need your help. I am right here. This is... Where is it? Okay, one yard of each of these. So you have this one and this one. And then this one is a really pretty border print with the butterflies. So you get those three one yard pieces. This green right here is two, just over two yards, two and an eighth. And then this stripe is three yards. So all together you are getting, I don't have a total on this. How did I, I not add them the up? And on, with... He typed it up for me today so he knows more what's on there than I do. So this is actually super soft and just pretty, pretty. Eight, no, six pieces. That's what that means. Two, three. <laughs> Let's do some math. Three, five, six, mm -hmm. seven, eight. Mm -hmm. Eight yards and a charm pack. Yeah, like I said, eight yards and a charm pack. <laughs> eight yards and a charm pack. I don't know why that was in question. <laughs> and here's our charm pack. Hold them up. Okay. And here's the fat quarter. This would be really easy to, you have the whole quilt. I called it a fat quarter. These are charm packs. Thank you. I, for some reason, like to say fat quarter. I call a lot of things fat quarters when I don't mean to. So Does that mean that I know something about... You do. You do, you do. Did I pass the test? You do. $84, number 41 for eight yards, six different pieces of fabric, and um, six pieces. Is This is one of the six. So you have five pieces of fabric plus the charm pack. And there's only one of these. Okay. Maybe I don't know. Okay. The next one is called Somersville number 42. It only has two pieces to it. it. Has this really pretty border print, which I folded it kind of funny. And then here is the coordinating fabric that goes with it. So the peach um, this one right here is just over two yards and this one is 62 out 62 ounces, <laughs> inches ounces. <laughs> inches 62 so ounces. it's a one and a third yard and that's it for those two. Oh, the price on this i bet you want a price okay it's more than one and a third it's one and three quarter oh i i wrote three quarters i didn't say that though did i if this is 32 dollars and you're getting four and three quarters yards of fabric. 
I love peach. Love it. Okay. There you go. All right. We have another one. This one is number 34. It has three pieces of fabric in this bundle, in this grouping. So this one right here, that's the Hexies. This is only five eighths of a yard, so it's like 22 inches. Okay, so there's that. And then uh, this fabric right here, I'm calling it a border fabric, but it is three and a third, no, three and a quarter yards of this. Is it right side up? Nope. Well, how do you know if it's right side up or upside down? Because the butterflies. What if they're bat butterflies? If they're bat butterflies, they wouldn't be these colors. But they would be hanging upside down. They wouldn't be these colors. <laughs> and then you're going to get this piece of fabric right here which is two and seven eighths yards almost three yards and this is actually called flutter where the other two are from a line called blossom but they're all butterflies and this gray is so pretty i just had to put it with it so you're getting a total of six and a half yards for 56 dollars. you get all three pieces and they're butterfly themed $56. And then I have another one that somehow we typed it, but it didn't end up on the sheet. It was just gone. So I'm I'm writing in one. There's only one to do that with this you week. Mean the one on this page? Yeah, but there's no lines around. That's weird. Okay. Well, I guess, ladies, if you look on the very last page, it's actually there. I didn't think it was. Number 44. And I'm talking Starla and Liana. I, I keep doing things to them. Okay, number 44 is this. It's called River's Bend. It has all of these pieces. Is your shoulder okay? Yeah. And this, this big aqua piece. So this one right here is two and three quarters of a yard for this one. And let's put this closer. I want them to see the little dots on there. Okay, well, get up. Okay. Okay. <coughs> Actually, they're not dots. What are they? they? I'm calling it sprinkles, but they look like uh, oblong diamonds. Oblong diamonds. There you go. Okay, so number 44. This piece right here is one yard. This piece right here is 40 inches. So it's a yard and four inches. And this piece right here is two and an eighth. The price for this is $57 at six and a half yards total for all of them. And Mr. Fix-It is fixing that bundle for us. And then if you can flip that bottom one so that the so that it doesn't dark. See, look how pretty. Okay, there we go. <laughs> there, that's what that is. Terry has got 44. Okay, do you guys want me to go back through the patterns again? I'm actually done showing you things. We don't have any boxes this week. You can always get the boxes on the website, but we're not doing a sale on them this week. And Mr. Fix-It does not have any scrap bags. The last week was, was insane trying to get stuff done. And tomorrow we're doing our taxes. So we're still in the middle of just like, can't breathe yet. So... Monchery. Oh, um, where'd I put it? It's out here. Oh, I wonder where it's at. Okay. Can you get in that cupboard? Okay. And this is actually the bin that hurt my arm. So uh, right shoulder length or elbow height down, back, left bucket. Do you see them? The pink and the aqua. <laughs> why I was not happy okay I have three yards of each of these this is Mon Cherie. if you got the activity or the um, advent boxes this was in I think the a box you guys have to tell me because I can't remember 
And so I've got two of these and then magna. I'm not showing the floral wood unless you want to see it up close because you did claim it already. But three yards for each of these, $27 per piece. If you are making, if you just like the fabric, but if you're making one of those projects, you might want backing. Yeah, no scraps tonight. Like Lynn Oh, said, I was trying to say, we just didn't get a chance to get to the scraps. I, I was... It was super crazy. So my scrap curation time, which I set aside <laughs> in my calendar... Didn't happen. You don't know that. <gasps> Did it? My scrap curation time that <laughs> was set aside in my calendar was absorbed by... Let's get the website up and running time. Well, it's not my fault. No, it's not your fault. <sighs> but it was insane. And and we, we're still we had, working on it. So Yeah, I mean it's not perfect. We're getting there. We're so sorry. I, I know they're, they're fun. We're gonna do the scraps. It just did big, not Yeah. Did the big not. thing is the accounts that we're working on getting all that transferred. Oh, yeah, we're still trying to figure out exactly how to do it because we're in communication with the developers and they're gonna do a whole bunch of stuff tomorrow. But right now, my understanding is that you can create an account where you can't right now. <laughs> I don't know why. So I think they might have set that up. We're going to migrate everything from the old system to the new one, which I was you under think. the impression we couldn't do it. And until it's done, it's not done, I guess. Um, Starla Eight, takes 13 times two. Times two. What is 13? I don't know. You have to look at it. What is 13? <laughs> you got me curious. It's got now, a, I think it's one of these. It's um, the Anne of Green Gables. Nice. Uh, charm packs. So. So, we should be able to transfer everything easily and easily is like a famous last word there they're, um, they're telling us that once we get everything in there when you go to sign in you will be prompted for a new e password and you're going to get an email that they're going to walk me through how to send that to you once we import everything i think it's going to be this week it could be it's not yeah, going to be right away it's going to be a couple days but the old, everyone who had an account will get something that will prompt you on how to reset your password so, unfortunately, then that's the, what we're dealing with about it. The second part of that is to link your previous purchase history with your new account. And we're working on that. So, we have that information. It's it's not lost. It's on an Excel worst spreadsheet. Case, <laughs> absolute worst case scenario. I will have it available and we'll be able to communicate with folks. Because he's tracking the Advent box payments for the 2024 boxes, we've been importing this information constantly and so we we know what's going on anyway but as far as the format that they want to include everything we just have to get it in the right system but we have backup copies of everything so we definitely know where you are on your advent payments and uh we can show you your history so unless you're lucky history. and i send you the wrong email like who was that that i did that to? i don't know i didn't know about it i sent someone an email that said Yikes. It's only happened once, as far as I know. But I sent them an email that said they still owe, they had only put down their deposit. And she responded pretty quickly with. Um, no, I didn't. I paid it off. I paid it off. And oh, by the way, here's the dates and the payments. And I responded as quickly as I could with, yeah, you're right. Um, my bad. Uh, but it's a in big... my defense, when I do boxes, there's close to 200 emails that I'm sending out. And I got one wrong. Well, there's just so much information, so please bear with us as we, yeah, do that. Um, thank you for mentioning that, Starla. Um, please help. Please like. There's a lot. There's only six likes in there as of this moment. And there's more than than you that on the the Actually, live think, video. So I would love so for you to. There's a little notice. Mm -hmm. I think that the likes don't count up during the view. If sure we they hit... do, because we wouldn't have any at all. No, that's how many there were when you first got on there. It's always been live. I, I'm. Just, it's always live until afterwards when it processes. I'm just saying, if I hit refresh on my computer right now, I'll bet the number goes up. Okay. Well, maybe that's what I need to refresh. That's different. Because mine right here says nine. Okay. And when I hit refresh... Um, oh, you know what? I see 20 likes. 20. I see 20 on my phone. So I just have to go by that. So yeah. anyway, like, like, help me out some more. Um, but thank you so much. We are just going to kind of chat a little bit and answer your questions and show you whatever you need to see. Um, Magna, yeah, 21 likes. Yep. But, but Leanna, you only see two? There's, yeah, 22 now. Yeah, thanks, guys, for giving that little thumbs up. I think that Leanna missed the one after her I two. I think she did. It's okay. I'm just trying to give her a hard time. It's okay. 
but it didn't work. So the Monchery, do does this help anybody? Mecca, did you want either one of these? Did you want to see the floral one? I put it in. I have a bin with you guys' name on it. The ones who have been ordering um, a lot. You have your own bin that I just keep putting your stuff in. And I got your bin like on the other side of the room. Um. Okay, I, Marlon. Nope. Nope. See. Uh, uh, yeah. Actually, just grab the grab that that floral. Fl no, no. Don't oh, bring sorry. it. Sorry. Yeah. Just grab the floral fabric. That's on. I actually. Um, the floral fabric. You can see it. No, 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 no. Right there in in that bin. In the bin. Yeah. This. Okay. Yeah. Oh. 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 You want to go take that? Run away. Doctor's office is called. Okay, so this is the um, the monstery that uh, Magna's got. I let's see. I looked into the Ruddy Blake dots. I didn't get very far. Is that what the RB is? Because I looked up. I looked up something for somebody. How much for fab nine dollars a yard? Creativity. <laughs> Creatively, hello, uh, Karen. Nine dollars a yard, and um, unless it's in a bundle, and then it's just that that price for what's in there. Okay, you didn't answer it in time. I did answer in time. Oh. That's someone else pinging me now. <laughs> okay, uh, you're a bit off today. Oh, well, Leanna, it's nice that you're somewhere that's warm enough to get heat exhaustion. I'm jealous. When do you come back, Leanna? Do you fly back in Sunday or are you going to come sooner? Creatively, creatively Karen, that's a new name. I don't yeah, think that. Karen, thanks for hanging out with us today. I don't think I've seen your name before. Actually, I have seen your name, but I just don't know that you have um, said much in here. Yeah, and it comes back Monday. Monday? Like you're gone a week and a half? Good for you. Good for you. Nice. I hope you're re getting rest and vacation. And I mean, you're always sewing, but that's fun. But the point is, is, you know, getting a break from normal life. Oh, Mitzi, you got that quickly. Okay. The nice thing is, is that can be returned. That's even better. <laughs> you explain. And say what? You should explain a little more than that. Mitzi asked for some help with something. I sent her a link and she ordered it. Yes. That's, that's it. Yeah. Here we go with personal grooming again. I know. Couldn't help it. I think the important part of that with Mitzi was that if you can't find something or need help, reach out to the Lynn because she knows everything. Well, if I don't, I'll try to figure it out. And I'm not the best at, right now, I'm not very good at getting back with people. So, Linda, you and I need to to, to um, talk once I get your swap samples. And I have a list inside of somebody else I needed to get back with. Oh, the... Um, I'm so sorry. I'm drawing a blank. I looked into the gingham dots. I'm trying to think who asked for that. I want to say it. Well, anyway, they're on order. Okay. Um, yeah. Can I show you guys anything else? I'm going to go through the patterns real quick. How about that? Ooh. Okay. And if I show one that's already been shown, someone just kind of pipe up and tell me because I don't have the list. But this is a table runner number 20. It takes two charm packs. It's 24 by 64. It's actually big. Really nice. By Fig Train Company. I think number 21 is sold. New angle on fat. So it takes fat quarters. Again, some of these might be spoken for. I apologize if I'm showing it and you've got spoken for it. Uh, we obviously won't let someone else grab it. Rhonda sent her email to Mr. Fix It. Awesome. Yep. So anyone that's um, first time buying, send an email to this address, Mr. Fix It, softscores.com. That's him. And then he will know where to send the invoice. We're going to get the invoices out tomorrow. And the first six people to pay their invoice will get one of these three by three magnets. <laughs> this is a stack of them. Three by three magnets. And then everyone else will get something like a sticker or something. But these are. Uh, good size magnets. And what is the pattern on the magnet? We think it's called Dutch. Dutch block. Well, it is a block. It's but it Dutch. doesn't have a middle name. It's just Dutch, Dutch. block. 
just Dutch. Okay, so um, 24. Yes, you can watch the replay and you can order. So you can also email us, like, do you still have this? You can also, what happens, we will get the invoices out. We will mail it to you with a link that will take you back to softscores.com where there will be a custom order set up for you. And you just check out through the website. The nice thing is if there's something else you want to add, put that in your cart and check out at the same time. It is a flat shipping fee um, of $750 until you hit $200 and then there's no shipping fee. So if you want to save on some shipping and some other things that you want, you can add that to your cart and check out with this at the same time. Here come the sailboats. Okay, here comes our row, row, row. Sailboats in a row. Sailboats in a row. 26. 27. Don't forget we're doing the Quilts of Valor block. Go to the Saturday situation from last weekend. They'll tell you about it and give you a link to the block that we're making. And we're going to send it off to a chapter in Michigan. And this is the block we're making. It can be any colors as long as they are patriotic. And then it will help that chapter put their quilts together because they're really small and they have a lot of people that need help. All right, so here's 29. Here's 30. Again, some of these have been spoken for. Um, if you see something you like, put the number in there and then start a, the one who's keeping track of this. <laughs> we'll let you know if it's still available. Uh, 34. These last two are Sandy Gervais. This is uh, Sherry McConnell. Here's another one by Sherry. And then the last one I have a star cross number 37. And I know it went fast, but I don't know if you guys even needed to see that or wanted to. So if you want something else and let me know, I can definitely show it or spend more time showing a pattern. Okay. So anyone that's watching this on a repeat, you can comment. We check all the comments and, uh, or, or same thing. You can email Mr. Fix it at softstores.com or me, Lynn, L-Y-N-N-E at softscores.com and if it's available we will definitely honor the price that we're showing you here and most of these things are not on the website okay okay anything else well creatively karen you know what i think i saw you because you have a channel right am i right about that because i know i've seen your your name. Maybe it's because I just did a contest. I just did a drawing on my um, Saturday situation, which is a weekly video I put out on Saturdays with updates. And I just did a drawing. And part of the drawing criteria is you had to be a visible subscriber. So I was having to check the subscriptions of the person that was drawn. And I probably ran across your name through that. Oh, Pat, you're welcome. We'd love to help you. So just keep in mind that um, Pat Vizino, hope I'm saying that right, is um, the gal that we're helping out with the Quilts of Valor. There's a lot of Quilts of Valor chapters. So if you have one local that you're already participating in, you know, keep up what you're doing. But if you're looking for something to help out with or have more, um, anyway, Pat is in an area where they just don't have a lot of resources or help. So we're, that's why we're building these blocks and sending them to her. She also um, is taking fabric donations. And the address to send that to is also in the Saturday Situation video from last week. But you can send it to me. And I have been doing that and forwarding it on. So my address is in all of my videos. I know, I know, uh, Leanna, it's because <laughs> we didn't have as many things to show. We finished in record time. And so I kept to myself a little bit. <laughs> You're fine. We didn't have any scraps, though. No scraps. No. Yeah. So, yep. Yeah. Next week, when we don't have to have, when we will have been done with the website. And done with our taxes. Done with taxes. <laughs> it's been And crazy. all of that. We will, and, no, oh, next week's Easter. Oh, he's having surgery on Friday. Hello. What are you thinking? I'm thinking that with, so here's, Okay. <laughs> I'm going in for weight loss surgery. No, he's not. Yes, I am. Oh, okay. it's yes, okay. 
I'm going in for weight loss surgery because you may notice that my eyes don't open all the way. So they're going to take a little bit of skin out of each eyebrow and lift my eyes a He's little bit. He's got a facelift so he can so see. Isn't I'm, that funny? I'm counting on about one ounce, maybe an ounce and a half of weight loss for the skin that they're taking out of my forehead. <laughs> So, yes, I'm having good Friday surgery, good Friday surgery, a weight loss surgery, and also that I could see things now. <laughs> so, but I'm probably going to come out not seeing real well. So I'm not going to attest that the colorways of the scrap package next week, the scrap bag. Actually, I think you should do them before you have surgery. No, I'm going to do them after so that <laughs> they will look like I did them. Well, they will look like you did them more thoughtfully if you do it before your surgery. I'll put plenty of thought into it, okay. I guarantee you. Anyway, we will have some next week after <laughs> Easter. It's just, uh, it is what it is. So. Uh, anyway, so yeah, it's just, it's just the week that, the, the March, the March just needs to be, just needs to end. Yeah. I think it's just the month of March. Uh, yes, it's like the Ides of March lasted all month long for us. <laughs> yeah, Pat. Oh, we just decide to go target to golf instead. Oh. <gasps> that happened to you? You had surgery canceled because the doctor wanted to go golfing? Oh. That's brutal. Oh. The fact that you found out that he went golfing is even worse. Yeah. So. Yeah, I know he's going to have an eye lift. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. I'm you're having... going to you're going to have your eyebrows. Well, it's actually a facelift because they're going to no. raise his eyebrows and raise his and, and do this. I am not having plastic eye... surgery. No. It doesn't have to be plastic surgery. I'm not having a lift, or I'm, yes, sure. I'm having ptosis surgery. It's spelled P-T-O-S-I-S. They are lifting your eyebrows, so you look like this. Well, if they lift my eyeballs, I'm going to look no, a little different than that. Eyebrows, eyebrows. Yeah, but but I'm not having plastic surgery. Did I say plastic surgery? Yes, yeah, she I did. I don't think I said plastic surgery. You're having a facelift. Just because a plastic <laughs> surgeon is doing it doesn't mean that it's plastic <laughs> surgery. Uh, my kids are going to die oh, if they ever find Mitzi. out that I had... Plastic surgery. I'm so sorry. Her oh. cat passed today. You know, I lost sorry, my my snuggle buddy dog about almost a year and a half ago, and I still miss her. So. Yeah, that was a tough day. We we had we had COVID, but we weren't 100 percent sure we had it. And Mandy, the name of the dog, was not feeling well and we took her in and uh it was kind of obvious and anyway wasn't even my puppy but it was tough i'm sorry mitzi that you were in the same situation of losing a friend after that long it's you know like we we get used to them. And I, I was... Sorry, guys. <laughs> so I had known Mandy for just about two years at that point. Um, because I, you know, I, I'm like late to the party, to the Lynn party. And uh, Mandy had been around for 10, 11 years. Yeah. And uh, Anyway, sorry. Hard. This isn't about me. <laughs> I am sorry. Forty-one. Do you have 41? Oh, thank you. 41 is a fabric bundle. Uh, that I don't think was spoken for. It's this one. Okay. This one is the one that had like eight yards. Am I right on that one? Yeah. So. Do you need a clean My... Here, I'll let you all show this. Okay. Thank you. You can't see it on screen, but her glasses are fogging <laughs> because she was a little emotional. Yeah. So. Let me try and fan these out. So this is 41. Charm pack and several pieces with yardage. Forty-three, the sticker came off. What was forty-three? Forty-three was the another bundle. The very this bundle. The gray um, yeah. aqua. So this is forty-three. Okay. And because I have the sticker, I'm going to show you guys 43. <laughs> that was so pretty. Okay. All right. Let's see, 41. Okay. 
Darla takes 41. Darla took 41. Yeah. Okay. If fabric makes me happy. That's my motto. It should because be on everything. Fabric makes me happy. One of the things. <laughs> it brightens a, a sad day. One of the things, if you were at our home in her sewing studio, there's a <sighs> corner bracket on some walls that like has a rod to hang things on and mm -hmm. it is full of shirts and one of them oh. says fabric makes me happy and she loves to <laughs> that is my favorite that's my mom fabric makes me happy just kind of pet it touch it everything's better yep well mitzi i am so sorry i am so sorry i my heart just pours out for you yeah um was told if you meet Maybe. your pets on the rainbow bridge leading to heaven but you will meet them that's yeah that's nice linda hey anything else anyone wants to see oops i'm gonna knock something over if i'm not careful you want to talk about the eye lift again what do you what do you want to know hi andrea how do cousins better late than never okay andrea who are you related to well she's the one that is a a mayflower cousin oh mayflower <laughs> really slow to this for you. so that was last week's conversation i've slept seven times since then mm, i've been reset <laughs> um so andrea yeah we're we're close to finishing if you want to rewatch the replay or watch the replay and then rewatch yeah. the replay after you watch the replay so anything that's available just comment and we will um get that to you we'll, we'll reach out to you and let you know if it's available but the invoices will be sent out tomorrow you'll pay through the website the custom orders um section yes. it's the same same thing just looks slightly different everything will be under the uh so customers since we brought up cousins i i have to tell you this one oh you're um, gonna go with the story just just the short version if there is a short version okay there is so my daughter uh, texted me this week with a little blurb that says, do you recognize any of these names? And it was a woman that reached out to her from 23andMe, the DNA group. And they had names of my daughter's great, great grandfather and said, that's, you know, that's my great grandfather. And, you know, maybe we have a match. Long story short, my mother-in-law with my late wife, Kathy was an only child, never knew her father or anything. Except we thought there was maybe something we could never find anything. We worked thought for years. Might have been a sibling, but didn't know. Yeah, we we worked for years trying to figure stuff out. And the only reason she thought she might have a sibling is that her mother always carried around a set of little clothes for a little boy. Did she and really? Because she would never talk about it. Ne ne well, her mother died when she was eight. Oh, oh, this is the yeah. This is the great so, grandmother. Long story Got short, it. my daughter gets pinged, and we talked to this woman who turns out to be a cousin of my late wife, a great or a uh, first cousin once removed for my children and my sister-in-law and everybody. And they were told that my mother-in-law's mother and my mother-in-law were lost in an earthquake um, years and years ago because there was a forbidden love, the the uh, young man of the house and the maid wound up having children and that was frowned upon. Anyway, she got sent away. Long story short, we put together some genealogy in the last couple of days that is phenomenal. So if you don't do genealogy when you're not quilting, that would be a good thing to do. But do quilting first and then, you know, genealogy is fun. And we found out that Pat and Andrea and I all have relatives on ancestors on the mayflower so we are mayflower cousins and me too and you too wasn't i on there no no I'm you weren't too. on the mayflower I wasn't? we're hand cart com cousins oh, i thought we were I, I thought my whatever was on the the mayflower but they just came across the country together yes so okay. anyway we, we did not know that when we got married it's not like we had to get permission from we the are state not or blood related in any way <laughs> so anyway um, okay, so you are looking for honey bloom. I'm just gonna make some notes here because I can't. Where's my thing? Okay. There we go. She's gonna make notes. Yeah. So you can see a lot of surgeries. Thanks for humoring us today. 
I'm <laughs> not. I'm excited because then I'll be able to see, but I'm not excited about the surgery. It was supposed to be two weeks ago. A week ago, Friday, and we actually extended the launch date for the website because it was going to interfere with his surgery. Yep. And then that didn't happen, but we still had a whole bunch of issues the day that we were launching, so it would have been worse if we tried a week sooner. Anyway, so hopefully he actually gets it this time. Benjamin Franklin mm -hmm. and I share the same grandfather. Oh, grandfather. If I'm going to show the same gray. So it's probably a great, 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 great for you, Maxi. And so Benjamin is like your third great uncle, something like that, probably. Your brother found out he is your half brother. Oh, yeah. wait, 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 no. That would probably be a bad day because he didn't know his. My brother found out. Didn't know his, his different. Not a good day. For... Oh, wow. There's some of that stuff going There's... on in his his first wife's family. <laughs> there... There's so a lot the one... of weird stuff. <laughs> the one thing that we found out funny. about my late wife's family is that they were very good at keeping secrets for long periods of time. Three sisters. And there was more than one situation where the maid and the young man in the family wound up having children that were uh, Honey. not as well received as they could have been. So sometimes it's tough when you find things in your genealogy, but at the end of the day, there are more good stories than hard ones. At least that's my experience. All right, Mitzi, I will look for that um, Honey Bloom. I... I am a distributor with Moda. I have not placed my first order with them because their minimum is so big. And I clearly have a bunch of fabric right now. So even though I would like to get more, we haven't ventured into that. But it's on the bucket list that once well, we get things settled, we're going to... You ready to do that June, sooner? June-ish. June-ish to July. Give us a couple of months. And and we will put that order in. Yeah, we definitely. We just got to get some things settled before we can order everything she wants to order. But but Moda is a big one to have on board, so I definitely would like to get get more of them. Your grandmother and Benjamin's grandmother, or mother or sister. Oh my goodness, Mitzi, you guys are like. My your grandmother and Benjamin Franklin's mother are sisters. Wait a minute. How old when did Benjamin Franklin die? A long time ago. I think it's got to be a great great grandmother, not a straight up grandmother. I don't know. Don't don't so. question. She would know. <laughs> no hurry for Moda. Okay, Mitzi. Um, uh, yeah, you have lots of fabric. I, You know, I've discovered that that happens. Did we tell you that my late wife was yarn and crocheting and knitting? We're in the garage. We're in one of the bays of the garage, and the ceiling is its like two stories in, in the garage. So over there, where the other two bays are, there are these drop-down platforms that he has built to put stuff on so we can still use underneath. And it's full of yarn. When she passed <laughs> A lot away, of it is yarn. Buzz, so bins and bins and bins of yarns. If you go to Costco, okay, that makes sense, Mincy. and you get those three plastic, clear plastic, top, you know, that bins, interlock like that? The, not the ones that interlock, but the ones that are bins that you just put the lid on. They're all about the same size. 77 bins of yarn <laughs> I didn't when know the my number. wife passed away. I didn't know the number. She also collected Holy beanie smoke. babies. We have bins of beanie babies. Uh, I think there's seven bins of beanie babies. We haven't completely gone through everything. And yes, we should do a yarn sale. <laughs> what we've been doing with it is... Um, <laughs> People who knit or crochet, if we find out they need stuff, we, we're just donating to people. And uh, one of the, uh, my daughter asked Mystery some, yarn boxes. Oh, my goodness. Oh. That's an idea. One of my daughters and has a try. friend who is on the scale, autism scale, and the mm -hmm. only thing that she can do to get through social situations is crochet or knit. So Keep we're donating yarn to her so that she can... Man, Manny Hod. What is Manny Hod? I don't know. He's get through life. There we go. I'm sure he's that... bilingual and he gets his Spanish words mixed up in his. That's head. no. That's no bueno when I start to speak into your Spanglish. So. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So. You know what I did um, a couple years ago? I was moving and I 
crochet and I had all this yarn and all this stuff, but I just wasn't actually doing it, but I had tons and tons of it. I donated it to the Ronald McDonald house. And I kid you not, as soon as I walked in the door, all the moms swarmed in and grabbed it. It was just gone. Yeah. And that, that was a really, really good place to donate because those, those people come with very little because they can't carry a lot and pack a lot and uh, they need something to do. Okay. Well, I think we've kind of rambled on enough. I hope that you guys got the, the chat that you need, um, Starla and Leanna, to be able to uh, finalize the, the the numbers that we needed. If, if you guys think of something that you want, reach out to us again. You can add items from the website before you check out if there's something you see there that we didn't go over. And if you have any questions, we're here. We're always here. <laughs> we're just a little slow to respond so, lately, but we will get to you. <laughs> when, when she says here, she doesn't mean on that stool in this chair. We're, nah. we're like at the house, but not we're, right We're here. accessible. We can yes. get to us. Yes. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Thank you all. All right. And I appreciate the good wishes on the surgery. I, you know, the worst thing that can happen, well, that can't happen because I don't think they could make me look worse. So, it, you know. <laughs> I think he's adorable, silly man. All right, um, well, you grab my mouse. Yes, I have your mouse. Oh, I'm gonna close. I'm gonna close out over here. So uh, we're gonna lose the chat. Thanks for coming, everybody. Don't forget every Monday five Mountain Time, we will be here. And I will be a raccoon next week. He probably won't be on camera. Oh, I will. I don't know. I'm gonna who show will off. Show him on camera. Might I'm let you show be the off voice. My weight loss. Be the voice in the background. You mean Mr. Announcer voice? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye. Thank you all.